we can see splashes at the surface and it looks like animals breaching out of the water, almost certainly mobular rays. So our best course of action is to send the drone over in that direction and look straight down at them. All yours, Mary. Drone pilot Maru Brito scouts the area. Right, let's see what we've got. With a 360 degree view of the ocean, Maru spots what we've all been hoping for. Oh, that is beautiful. Whoa, that is a lot of animals. What, so every one of those is a mobula? That's huge. That is beautiful. It's like a billowing cloud of well, leaves. They look like leaves. But every single one of those is a mobula. That's breathtaking. And then every once in a while, it's kind of punctuated by this, this explosion, like cannon fire at the surface as they leap up from below the water and then crash back down again. This is a giant squadron, the biggest that I've ever seen. You think we'll be able to get in with them? Hopefully. Sure. We're gonna try hard, no? Even in a feeding frenzy, these rays are likely to be wary. Maru and Frida track them carefully with the drone. How many do you think they are, Frida? I think they could be hundreds or thousands even. Wow. Because you see the top, but there are layers of them under, so it's so many. Where are we right now? Are we, are we on the group? They're forward of your position. They're coming in the direction of the bow of our main boat. I want to see whether this giant squadron will let me free dive with them. We are sitting almost on top of a squadron of hundreds, possibly even thousands of mobulas. And right now they're doing what mobulas do. They're breaching, they're leaping, they're jumping out of the water. <gasps> There's lots and lots of reasons why these animals breach. One of them could be to get rid of parasites and dead skin from their bodies. Another way could be to evade the attention of predators or it could be for communication. There's one other intriguing idea, which is that this could be a way of demonstrating strength. It's a way of showing that you're fit, that you have powerful genetics. And that could be a really important tool when it comes to breeding. Freediving gets me closer to the mobula than I'd ever thought possible. I'm treated to a marine spectacle beyond my dreams. It's one of the most beautiful, most balletic forms of movement in the entire aquatic world. And to see one single mobula ray is a special day. Seeing thousands of them like this it completely blows your mind. 